What is up, YouTube? Days Made Life Car Crisis here. Um, guess I got a monthly mail day video. Uh, had a bunch of stuff piled up from the month of March. I do not believe I showed any cards or pickups since uh, February. So I got a lot of stuff piled up. And uh, we're going to bring some new cards to the PC. And uh, in the background, we'll say goodbye to some PC players that just don't seem to work out for me as a Jets fan. So Jets traded Sam Darnold to the Carolina Panthers yesterday. So once again, the Jets will have a new rookie quarterback again next year. And uh, hopefully um, we'll actually get a franchise quarterback. Uh, not happy about it. I actually like Sam Darnold. I think just, we just need some weapons and uh, an offensive line and to do something with them. Um, but they elected to uh, trade them, get some more draft picks, and uh, looks like we're using the number two pick um, on a QB. So, but let's get this rolling. Um, got a little bit of football, one basketball, a bunch of baseball. Uh, I did go a little relic heavy on baseball throughout the uh, month of March, uh, but they're pretty cool stuff. And then uh, I got a, some, several autos and stuff like that. So. Let's just get this started. Uh, we'll start off with two, a gift from one of my employees. I found a couple cards in his apartment and uh, I collected, so hooked me up with this Edge and James swatch and this uh, Emmett Smith rookie. So that was pretty cool. And then picked up, there is a little bit of base in this video, not a whole lot, but a little bit. So here's a JPP Tops Tribute rookie and an extractor of Justin Houston. And I got one graded uh, Gem at 10. Um, the slabs is all scratched to hell, but it's a Gem at 10 of D'Angelo Hall. So I'm probably going to get that. I may just snap it. It's not really a high dollar card. I think I bought it for 10 bucks or something like that. So I could snap it and just keep it uh, in the top loader or I'll, maybe I'll resend it. We will, we will see. A uh, couple of uh, autos here. So I got a Greg Jennings, bought a lot, and I picked up the Chrome Rookie Auto, and it also came with the Upper Deck. So Greg Jennings uh, picked up two Gerald McCoy autos. I'm getting these Chrome autos pretty cheap. Um, everybody's all about Prism, and I think some some of these uh, good players that are not high end or um, going for cheaper than they should be. So Jerry McCoy got that for a couple bucks. And then I picked up this uh, Topps Platinum Jerry McCoy patch. So sick three color patch. Uh, that's number 99. Uh, here's another cheap one. I think I got this for like two or three bucks shipped. Uh, Dominic Rogers Cromarty. A Chrome Rookie Auto. Got this for a dollar plus shipping. Uh, Brandon Cooks. Tops Platinum. Um, first auto of Derek Mason. Thought this one looked pretty nice. And for the Jets PC, picked up a rookie auto of uh, Chad Painton, uh, my favorite rookie quarterback, or Jets quarterback that actually did something for us. So um, loved some Chad Painting, and this is the sign of the times out of SP Authentic. That's all the football. Show off one basketball. Uh, picked up another uh, Bernard King. Um, I like the image of it. I'm not a fan of the color with the red and blue. Uh, I thought it was going to be orange, but it actually is red. So, But still a sweet card. And uh, happy to add another Bernard King to the PC. And then on to some baseball. Actually, I got one more football. Picked up another Jamal Adams. Um, sold one of my 10s for I think $90. So I thought I'd pick one up and possibly grade another one, but PSA quit um, accepting orders. SGC went up to $75 per card, so uh, who knows. Um, but here's a couple of quick base cards. Uh, picked up a Jeff McNeil, the uh, All-Star Game rookie. I think this is a silver pack. Um, picked up a first Bowman 2014. 
surprised I didn't have that. Uh, last year's draft pick, uh, P. Crow Armstrong from Bowman Chrome. Here's a Pete Alonzo, uh, the main player I got for the talent pipeline out of Chrome. Uh, here's another Pete Alonzo. This might be out of Heritage, I don't remember fully. Um, and then cheap 90s rookie uh, Mike Sweeney. Uh, needed that one. And then a couple uh, graded rookies. Uh, picked up a BGS 8.5 Barry Larkin, 87 tops. I uh, want to get one of those graded for a while. I have a bunch, but they're just not... I'm so scared to send them in. I think they're not going to get more than an 8. Uh, I got this uh, pretty cheap. Steven Strasburg. It's a Bowman Chrome. Uh, just an 8, but I didn't have the card, and I got that for just a couple bucks. And then I sold this card in a 10 for about $95 and I just went and picked up a 9 because I still needed a copy of it but it's a George Springer uh, Chrome Prospects uh, so first Bowman George Springer 9's um, are just fine and 10's uh, are going for too much money not to move them right now so um, I think that card grades pretty well anyway uh, one more. Picked up this David Wright uh, Tops Pristine. So I need that one. Uh, this card, actually, I'm really kind of upset about it. Um, shipped in a P -dub or plain white envelope. Um, and then uh, it got super butchered. It was a Carlos Delgado, Eddie Murray. Um, the sad thing is I paid $4 shipping for this, and he sent it to PWE. So see that huge... Uh, crease on the back and there's a couple more somewhere around here so very unfortunate for a card I really liked too because I don't have anything with Eddie Murray in the uh, Mets uniform uh, so let's get to a couple some relics here uh, so this is the set I've been talking about I may try to do but they, I really like the cards um, this is a top stuff there's a title threads is the name of the set and it has a bunch of old players uh, several from the uh, 86 Mets which I got two of those but Orlando Cepeda picked up this nice old jersey in there in the Cardinals uniform from the 67 World Series champs and then I got two from the 86 Mets uh, Lenny Dykstra and Gary Carter a couple of bat relics so I think that set's pretty cool and I may start I may try to go for it there's a couple of Yankees in there I like and go from there so uh, here's another one uh, so I had to buy two of these um, uh, tops a uh, tribute uh, Josh Donaldson and Jose Batista dual jersey uh, originally bought this one and you see how thick these things are and that also got sent in a PWE and got butchered so got refunded on that picked up that one for even cheaper so it kind of worked out for me um, also grabbed another Topps Tribute Donaldson jersey. Uh, really like Donaldson for some reason. So that's like my third single player jersey of him. A uh, couple of, um, let's keep Bruce rolling. James Paxton jersey. This is like the Topps holiday boxes from last year. Uh, first James Paxton relic. I also picked up the Pete Alonzo. We're at nine minutes. Hopefully, y'all stuck around because I got a couple other cool cars to show. So, um, another couple of Ginters, uh, Bat Relic, uh, Michael Conforto, and a jersey of uh, Jeff McNeil. I picked up this for a dollar plus shipping. Uh, Wilson Ramos uh, Auto. Um, played for the Mets last year, moved on this year. Uh, a couple more tribute uh, relics. Really nice, uh, David Wright out of tribute, and then a really cool um, uh, Robin Yount with a little pinstripe on there. So Robin Yount. All right, three more to go. Uh, Tops five star um, picked up a Max Scherzer, 
in the uh, Tigers uniform, 2014 Tops 5 Star. Uh, I had this card, uh, you know, PSA 8, and I sold it a couple of years ago. Really wish I did it, but I did. And uh, had to pick it back up. Uh, next, first auto of this gentleman, uh, Carlos Delgado, or actually first auto to Mets uniform. I do have two autos of him in a Blue Jays uniform. Uh, but tops uh, triple threads, Clemente Ward 21. And this number out of 16. So awesome. First Delgado. And then uh, last but not least from this year's, or I guess last year's Diamond Icons, uh, picked up another Daryl Strawberry out of 25. So another Strawberry Auto for the PC. Uh, love him in the Mets pinstripes. Old jersey. I don't even think there's buttons there or nothing. Just was a regular shirt from the 80s. So super dope. And uh, that's what I got. Uh, 11 minutes. Hopefully I stuck around to the end. And uh, I do have a... Uh, I should have a PSA order uh, coming back that was sent out in June of last year. Uh, just popped um, yesterday or today. And um, I will be on vacation next week out of the country. So I'll have that in about two weeks. So I'll have a video for that. And then I have a, another SGC order. Uh, we'll see how long that takes. And then a couple actually uh, CSG orders that uh, me and a, another tuber sent in to test them out. And they're cheap, eight bucks a pop. So I was able to send some stuff in. And um, But those are mostly flip cards. So I'm not even sure if I'll even show um, any of those off or not. Well, we will see. So uh, that's it. You have a good night.